Ooh, welcome back, Travis. It is Slider Havoc here, and we are back on some Sub Tech Ages. And when we left off last time, we had basically just finished up uh, trying to do the Abyssal Craft stuff. We went over and got ourselves. Well, we didn't get ourselves anything. We got some Monolith Stone, and then using a little bit of dye, we were able to make this decorative statue. Unfortunately, the decorative statue is not the one we need. We need the actual statue. And apparently there's two ways to get that. You either can make this guy and wrap it in Shuggeth flesh, or you can go and hopefully get some of those guys to build monuments. And then you can take the little deck or the statue off the top of them once they build them. And so I think that's what we're going to go do right now. So I've, <clears throat> I checked, so long story short, we went over here, this one was empty. Uh, there was no Shoggoth over there. I don't know if that's just because uh, I had gone over there before and then they despawned or something, or you know maybe there was only one or two in there. I don't know what the deal was, but we went over to that one over there and we got nothing for it. So we're gonna head north. But before we head north, I wanna show you, I did start another build and I'll probably show you that guys when we get back because I really want to go find this lair and hopefully be productive. So I'm going to start heading north <clears throat> and when I find one of these layers, we will go and do our thing and fighty fighty fight and all that fun stuff. So I, I'll basically break away here and we'll be back once I find the lair. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we just so we just happened upon one of the layers. I believe it looks like I'm getting kind of close, but I don't want to get too close. There's a lot of mobs around here too, but it looks like it's one of those. Um, these, I guess, they're not called monolith layer. I guess it would be like a slogeth layer, and they build the monolith. <sighs> so I've never been over here, so I don't know. Where's my boat? Okay, there's some in there. Okay. So what I want to try to do is draw them out as far as I know. I'm thinking if I put myself like right here and just build a platform. Because I know they can climb and stuff. But I don't know how to draw them out. And I don't know how long it takes for them to build the... Uh, Monuments. But there seems to be quite a few in there. Hi, guys. Oh, my goodness. There's way more than six. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to kill you guys, though. I want you guys to build a monument. There are so many of them in there. So many of them. I mean, I guess we're in an abyssal, um, like, area? So that might have been part of it? Come on, man. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to keep recording, but I'm going to kind of go silent now. And I might just kind of fast forward through what happens here until one of the monuments pop up, so. So, guys, I... Decided to kind of just do a fast forward and uh, do a voiceover for this one. Uh, long story short is... This took a really long time, and I I would have preferred, looking back now, to actually have done a little bit of research on how the process worked, because I've never actually done the monoliths and got the statues this way. I, I thought it was going to be a little more simple when I read the... Because I did read the book, right? And I've been concentrating on really trying to follow the book, and it basically says, go find six of them, and they'll start building them up. And there's so many in there, I thought it was going to happen, and... Oh my goodness, uh, I ended up dying twice during this process. Uh, sad days to be had. Uh, like, yep, there was a death right there. Uh, so one of the monoliths went popped up. I was trying to get back up there and I was one block short and those guys followed me up and got me. But it was actually a fun process learning how this all worked. And uh, basically, if you don't know, uh, you just have to get them to kind of cover an area with the slime. As the slime starts covering and there's more and more start to show up, they actually uh, start to build the monoliths that way. And then once they start popping up, man, they just keep popping up. Like, I could have stayed there for days and just got more. But I waited till I got, I think I stayed for six or seven. 
and got those taken care of and you know got the statues i got to get one repeat uh, i didn't know that they would do that but uh i mean all in all it was a fun little experiment i i literally went through like every building block i had and this i want to say the whole process took me almost two hours uh, a lot of it was because of the deaths i'm about a 10 minute boat ride from uh, the main, you know, base location. And so it took a while to get back and then I'd have to go get my stuff and, you know, get resituated. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it took a while, but I, I finally started figuring out the pattern at the end. If you can see right there, I'm kind of putting the blocks around the monolith. That way I can get those safely. They wouldn't come up and get me. And, oh man, I mean, I had a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun, but I did get stressed out. I, like I said, I don't like dying, but I'm just so good at it. I'm so good at dying. If there's anything I'm good at in Minecraft, that's definitely it. And uh, it's always been a running joke with guys I play with. I was like, all right, today, I'm not going to die. But, you know, that doesn't always uh, work that way. So, anyways, we'll get back to it now. Okay, time to go. We got them all. Guys, I appreciate your help. Thanks for the monuments. Gotta go. I know there's one more. If I ever need an extra, I know they're there. Um, I literally broke my boots. I'm almost broken my leggings. Uh, that was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. I thought I was just going to have to set up and they would do their thing. So, anyways, I'm going to get back. And uh, once we get there, we will look at what else we need to do. But... Whew, now that I'm far enough away, let me do this. Um, center on me. I'm heading away this way, so this... Is this where we were just were at? I'm currently... Okay, let's point right where we were. We were right there. All the monuments right here. Okay. So let's add a marker right here. Um, something monument looking. That looks like it. Um, monuments. That'll work. Okay. So, we're heading back. Not back that way. Back home. We will be back in just a little, just little bit. Alright, travelers. So, we made it back and <clears throat> I, I, I needed to build my nutrition up because uh, I died a couple times during that process and it it took a lot out of me. I had like my protein all the way full and my fruit was all the way full. And I think my vegetables were all the way full. Grains was a little bit low, but <coughs> anyways, um, I've been trying to get some of that stuff up as well as, uh, just working on a couple of little things before I started recording again. Kind of just took a break, uh, to get things done in the meantime, because there's other stuff I want to do. That's very, very important for this episode. And so, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So, um, I did discover these sandwiches, uh, or meals. I've got some tasty sandwiches here, which are actually pretty easy to make. Um, it's just uh, cooked meat with bread. And instead of getting like two and a half grains and uh, whatever meat is, I think it's like 4% for the meat, we actually get 3% for each of them, which is really, really cool. And then also got these uh, pork dinners, which is uh, a carrot, a cooked meat, and a pig, um, or a cooked pork chop and a baked potato and that gives us 3.4 for protein and vegetables so i've been kind of switching back and forth with these and then i've got my fruits right here these only give me one percent but i did earlier plant some i forget what they're actually called you can kind of see them growing on the bottom of these trees right here um apple sprouts and so basically these will continuously grow apples i don't know how fast do they do it i don't know if i can bone meal them or anything like that but I've got the other fruits to kind of level things out. So at least we'll get three of our stats built up until I can find a better fruit source. But let me show you what's going on up here. This is my new blacksmith shop for the most part. Um, it's not a work, it's not done by any means. It's a total work in progress. And um, moments before starting to record, I had myself a bad day. Let me tell you about it. So. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have this little pit out here, you know, like the little pit that I could put of an anvil like right here eventually and stuff like that. And this is like where they heat their stuff up and all that. Right. And I thought it was a pretty good idea, but I had a couple trees and no, these trees were not the ones that lit on fire. I had a couple trees that were lined up right here. <clears throat> but as I said, what was really cool in the very beginning about trees replanting themselves and reforesting and stuff, like, I don't know if I've got any saplings planted around here. Um, but how they constantly drop their own sapling, like there's one right over there, and that's all I'm seeing right now. 
they apparently slowly moved closer and closer to the house and eventually one tree went up like right here caught on fire and it lit my poor house on fire not my house but my blacksmith shop or whatever and i haven't finished all the repairs yet um yeah it was kind of a sad day and this thing just went up and so got the fire put out got my walls all put back in but i haven't got the floors put back in yet so that was kind of a sad day let me go sleep this off and then anyways um we can kind of continue with the, the rest of the episode so um that 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 journey to go get those statues <sighs> let me tell you um, I know I'm going to end up, you know, probably fast forwarding it and editing or doing some cut and paste. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, depend on how I watch it. Um, it took me almost two and a half hours. Now, granted, part of that was dying and then having to get all the way back up there and then dying again and all the way back up. And I should have taken like a bed with me. I should have made a temporary bed up there or something. But that took a while. But the learning process, the learning curve was a bit hard. And I'm sure... Uh, I, if I edit it the way I think I will, I'll probably do a voiceover. So you'll have already heard all this. Um, but basically it just, it took a while. It was an absolute headache and I, but I learned how it works now. I did not know that those, uh, those guys had to like cover the area in slime and stuff like that. And anyways, it's done. What's done is done. We have gotten our statues. They're all right here lined up. Um, I've got two of the Jazar statues, the Azroth, um, the Nyarlathotep, <laughs> the Yog sothoth and the Shub Nagurath, and then uh, the Chulu, Chuth, Chulhu, I don't know, however you say any of those. We've got all of our statues, so that's cool, I'm excited. Uh, we've got all that stuff going on and now, 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 now we're going to go grab our Necronomicon. Oh, getting a little framey, getting framey. What's going on? I don't know what's causing the frames. Shouldn't be. Anyways, uh, we're going to check out a couple other things that we need to do because I know I got to charge this guy using these i did set one down and kind of just sat there for a second uh, when i was afk and i did get a little pe so you see i've got 175 pe i just set one down and kind of um, saw what they did it worked well it was cool you know whatever um, but there is a way to charge this book up and this is the so this is all kind of new to me right um, I've played with the mod once I played with the Bizzlecraft one time before and it was quite a while ago and it was in like a 1.72 version. So yeah, um, obtaining knowledge. I don't know where the little thing is to get like, is it forbidden knowledge? Um, what's this? The Bizzlecraft is an unholy tome from which the Necronomicon was written when Desar read that section Okay, I don't know what any of that means. Um, the overworld, progressions, material, progression. Let's look at progression. That's got to be the right direction, right? No, of course not. In order to reach the Abasal Wasteland, uh, one must craft a gateway key, which requires one to travel to the nether and to visit a dark lands and a water-based biome. The water-based biome can be a swamp or an ocean biome. Oh, that reminds me. So prior to the episode, I was doing a little bit of research and it turns out that these pretty areas that I love so much over here, they're actually called um, something infested uh, swamps. So these are technically swamps. Corillium, that's what it's called. Corillium infested swamps. And apparently there's a useful material that we need that uh, comes from either there or the Darklands biome, or sorry, not the Darklands biome, uh, an ocean biome or deep ocean biome or a regular swamp. So those are actually going to come in handy being right there, which is really, really nice. And I think there's another one right over here. Um, so yeah, so looking at what we need to do. All right, so last episode we did our altar and then we did our apple. I made another one. I just, I, I kind of got used to running up everything here. And when I took it away, I felt kind of like off. Like I get kind of annoyed with the, the easy step assist or whatever. But at the same time, I it was the crafting table that bothered me and nothing else. So now that I don't have that crafting stump or whatever, I think we'll do okay. 
So we've got our statue, which leads us to the next part right here, which is, um, well, the beneath. Use an abyssal craft ritual to create the beneath teleporter. Remember to have PE in your Necronomicon before starting a ritual. Place the beneath teleporter and enter the dimension. Okay, that's simple enough, I would say. Um, to charge your Necronomicon, you can either stand in a range of a statue, which is actually what I did earlier, or craft a pedestal to place the book on. Make sure your statues are three blocks on a pedestal and the same height. So let's try that. Let's look up the pedestal and see what it takes. Uh, energy pedestal, overworld energy pedestal. What's the difference? Oh, you have to upgrade the first. Okay, so we gotta make the first one. So we're gonna need this Corellium Pearl and a Shadow Gem along with some Monolith Stone. Now we've got the Monolith Stone. We got, I didn't get a lot, but I've got some. Um, it's around here somewhere. I think it's in the building blocks. So we got 22, so we've got plenty of that. Now the Shadow Gem, we're gonna have to wait for nighttime to do. And that's okay by me. We can we can get that done. But the Corellium Pearl thing, this is, ah, oh, I keep killing my crops. So I placed worms, so I didn't have to bring water up here, and I was gonna try to start my farm. The worms didn't last very long. I don't know if they just glitched out or what, but I haven't placed a new one down. Let's, let's do that, I got some more um, right there. I was like, hey, let us try to get this farms up, and after discovering worms on another series, I was like, hmm, will this work here? And it did at first. Um, oops, I put you in the wrong one. Let me put you here. I can't put you next to one? Okay, then we'll do that. Give me my wormy back. So you go there. And let's just put this dirt here and put you there. I'm going to try this out again. I would stop bouncing up. Okay. And let me just replant some of these seeds real quick. Uh, yeah, but for whatever reason, all of a sudden the worms were all gone and I don't know what the deal with that was. So let's put some coffee seeds down and did I pick up any other seeds? Canola and beetroot. Uh, beetroot with these ones, right? Yep. And canola seeds. Okay, cool. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. So, we're trying to make this pedestal, right? And the pedestal is going to need this guy. So, we know how to make the shadow gems. I can get those from the shadow monsters. This is going to come from... Okay, that in the kiln. That in the Okay, so basically smelting this up. Um... This comes from the granite Corellium gem clusters. Okay, so it's any of the stones. Okay, cool. That shouldn't be all that difficult. And then we can get that pearl. It looks like, so there's three, three, and three, two, three, and four, three, two, and four. It looks like it's just a combination of nine from the best of four, three, two. Um, yeah, it just, it looks like it's some type of combination of nine. One, three, and five. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we got to go get the um, the Corellium stuffs. I believe that is um, what we get in that biome right there. So I think we're going to head over right now and just take a trip over and maybe do some digging and see. I did, when I was reading about the, the, the material that you get in the biome, it said that like when you get it in the ocean biome, it's usually at around block 40 or below in the deep ocean biome. It starts at like block 20 and below. And it didn't say a depth for like in the swamps. I'm figuring not too deep, but since this is an infested biome, I'm thinking it should be a little bit easier to find it here. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping is probably the better word that it should be pretty easy to find here. So, let's see. Um, this is like the most dug out spot. Hello, you anti-player. I've seen a couple of these. It's gotta be, oh yeah, it is Abyssal Craft, okay. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know what their purpose is, but they keep showing up. And, oh, there's another one. 
So apparently you guys show up during the day. All right, well, we're going to start digging. Just get going. I just fixed up all my tools. And hopefully we can find some of this ore that we're supposed to do. And I think I'll just kind of... Ooh, what was that? Oh, clay. I always like finding clay. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll find what we need. I really... <clears throat> I wanted to get more mining done and stuff. But the problem with the mining is this pick is so slow. Like... You know, I should probably go get my plumb bob so I know what my Y level is. Let's go do that real quick because we're not too far away from home. Um, I don't know why I could run up there. Uh, yeah, get the plumb bob so I can, you know, kind of use the things that were given to me um, to my, you know, to, to help me out in the process. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find some relatively soon. I mean... Like I said, the thing's called... We're looking for Corillium gems or something like that. And it is called a Corillium infested swamp. That would make sense, right? That there's so much Corillium, it's infested it. And we're going to be able to find exactly what we need. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm being optimistic here. So let's grab our little plum. And then once I know we're under 40, we can kind of strip mine out a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be in those huge veins like everything else is, or if it's going to be something totally separate. We'll definitely find that out. Which one's lower? Grains or veg vegetables lower? So let's do this one. Because this one does um, vegetables. Oh, this one, wait, does this one do vegetables and grains? Oh, no, yeah, that one does vegetables and protein. I was thinking vegetables and grains. That would be cool, and I didn't think about it. Um, Let's get the Necronomicon out of the way and put you here. And I got my torches, right? Yes, I finally made some torches. We have torches. All right, so there's more of those antimatter guys. I don't know what's up with those guys. I don't like them. They're annoying. And it's so funny waiting for my raft to show up. It's like once I jump off, I have to wait for it to like visually get across. Apparently it doesn't register it like while you're actually doing it. I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, Corellium, here we come. We are going to go find some Corellium. Now we start at around 60, so I should already be down to about 50 already. I don't know how abundant this stuff is. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be in those huge veins like everything else is. Um, I know things are changed, obviously. Um, I thought I heard lava. I had to get quiet for a second. But I kind of want to want to do this together, at least until I find out if it's going to be like one or a whole bunch. If it's a whole bunch, we'll get some and uh, go do it. Apparently, we only need nine of those little crystals. And I don't know how many we'll get. Like if it's a one-to-one, -one, like the rest of the ores are right now, or what. So, oh, there we go. We found one. Corellium ore. Awesome. Well, we know we're at the right height. What height are we at? We're at Y39. So that's funny. So if Y40 is it, then maybe this is a good sign and there's a ton of it. <gasps> okay. Okay. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. I wonder if it's just one per. And then I wonder if we have to go smelt this stuff up or what do we have to do? There we go. Oh, we got 17 of them. Oh, okay. Cool. Mission accomplished. We needed nine. We got 17. Let's go do this. And we can also sleep off the night. And hopefully not too many mobs are up here. Let's go. Let's get out of this muddy area. All right, cool. Quick achievements. Or not quick achievements, but quick mission accomplished. What do you, leave me alone, skeleton. I ain't got no beef with you. Leave me alone. And we'll go over here, get this block put together. And that was cool. I didn't expect it to go nearly that smooth or that easy. Nothing ever goes that smooth or easy for me. And a lot of it is not because, you know, I'm playing really well. Uh, it's because I make a lot of stupid mistakes. And I get rushed and... Yeah, but that, I think... We're going to change that. We're, that, that. That's time for that to change, right? Time for that to change. So, um, I've got some andesite right here. Oh, I just mined up a whole bunch of andesite. I only need six. Let me craft this little thing up right quick. So, how do I do... 
Oh, okay. So it does a three. Okay. So you just stack them together. Perfect. And then we do that. And andesite and andesite. And there we go. And so we've got this Corellium block thing. And then we'll get the gem. Let me go sleep it off before I get attacked by animals. See, see, there's already a zombie. Oh, no, no, no. Let me do it before he's... Hey! He picked me up! Are you far enough away? Are you too close? Ah, oh, thank you. At least no other mobs. He's going to be like right outside here when I'm done. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, there you are. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alone. Thank you. I've kind of got their technique down. Just spinning circles. And I did read um, somewhere that told me these little red dots. Don't let those karate zombies get near the mobs. If they get hit by these red dots, they strengthen the mobs in the area. So a karate mob can turn a whole bunch of other karate mobs into some beefier karate mobs. And they can keep doing it to each other. Don't let them do it to you. Whatever you do, don't let them do it to you. All right. So let's just put this in the furnace. I always turn weird right there. Really need to put wood in there. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, I was making some bread to make some more of these tasty sandwiches, which I can do really quickly now while that's smelting up. And there we go. So yeah, we've got some decent foods, which is awesome. And now we've got the Karelian Pearl. Cool. Now the next thing we got to do is go get some shadow gems. And I just slept off the night, so I'm going to have to wait a minute for that. So let's see what other things we can get accomplished while we're waiting for the nighttime. Um, can't find a jungle. Consult the Necronomicon. Normal rituals. Okay. This is the thing to get a parrot. I remember reading that earlier. So basically what it says is, um, discover a or to summon a parrot and tame it using seeds to complete the advancement or just go find a jungle. And I don't want to go find a jungle right now. I would rather use abyssal craft to my advantage. So we're going to grab some seeds because it's said to do. And... We are, I read this, where was it at? It is under Rituals, it's under Normal, and it was the very last page. There it is. So what we need, uh, we need 100 PE, which I actually already have, which is awesome. Uh, the Ritual allows you to summon a parrot without, search for jungle, okay. I need four feathers, two eggs, and two seeds. Well, obviously our chickens have covered that for us, so now I gotta go find how to do the ritual how do you set it up uh information getting started nope uh potential energy nope it's okay check information normal there's got to be a way to show me how to set up the ritual because it's telling it's showing me like a circle here um but like, how do I do it? Um, miscellaneous information. Enchantments. Is that an enchantment that I'm trying to do? No. Uh, miscellaneous information. Special materials. No. That's the upgrade kits. Decorative statues. No. <laughs> Special materials. Where in the world? Forbidden knowledge. Uh, the old great ones. The outer gods. Nope, that's just explaining those guys. Uh, Bissell Craft. Okay, so this looks like it right here. This looks similar. Apart from exploring, a Bissell Craft introduces its own type of magic through the use of rituals in order to worship the Great Old Ones. Well, that's great, but you're not telling me how to do it. Um, patrons? No. The Overworld. Here we go. Um... Progression. No, I already looked at this. Why? Why is this so difficult? Why is this so difficult? Um, oh, what's this? A gateway key. Oh, that's what I read earlier. So. <laughs> I know I've seen it before. I've seen it around here somewhere. Um, what is this book? Uh, what about the knowledge? Obtaining knowledge. No. How would I not like clicked on everything? Uh, create modify spells open. What is this? Greater scroll dark. It's gotta be somewhere. It's gotta be. I know I've seen it. 
Um, normal rituals. There's There's got to be a page I'm missing to do these rituals. Uh, information. Why does this keep going back to like other <sighs> missiles and information? Rituals. Information. Special materials? Okay. Hold on. Is this it? Is this what I need to be looking at? No, because that's a whole bunch of crazy stuff and information. Materials. Okay, here we go. The ritual altar. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Getting started. Maybe it was on... Ah! Jeez. I, how many times I click on it? Um, your ritual is you need to create the altar to perform them. Um, there is a total of eight materials you can create your ritual altar from. Cobble, dark cobble. Okay, so we have plenty of cobble. Uh, to create the altar, simply place the blocks in the above formation. Keep the colored area clear. And shift right click the center block with the Necronomicon. Okay, now see, I remember this. So it's one, two out, one out, two out, one out. Okay, we can do this. This is super simple. Let's grab some cobble. I've got some... Hmm. I don't have any cobble in here. I know where I do have cobble. Oh, I just saw it as I was running away, but it's okay. I've got cobble over here. So while we're waiting for the nighttime, this is going to be a fun thing to do. I think I'm going to do this out in the open over here. Um, tasty sandwich. So we're going to find a nice little open area where no one's around. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to clear all this stuff out. Right? Because it said the colored area has to be clear. And I'm figuring that accounts for grass and stuff like that, too. Okay. So, let's bring that back up real quick. So, it was one out. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. So, it's nine across. So, let's see if we're clear all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're clear. We're totally clear. All right, so... Let's grab some cobble. Oh, I had some on me. Ha. Okay, so it was two in all the north, south, east, west directions. And it was one on the corners. Like so. And then it says we just give a right click with the Necronomicon on the middle block. Uh, shift right click. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's go get some feathers, some chickens, and some seeds. Well, I got the seeds. We just need some feathers and some chickens. Or eggs. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And let's see if we can get this parrot. Apparently, we need a parrot. I don't know why we need a pet parrot. But the book wants us to have one, or the quest wants us to have one, so I'm okay with that. Um, let's grab ourselves a stack of eggs and a stack of feathers. Um... Whatever, we'll sort that out later. We got so many feathers and eggs, it doesn't really matter. I've got the seeds. And so we should be able to do this. So it was two eggs, two seeds, and four feathers, right? I don't know if there's a specific way to do it, but I'm just going to kind of do it what makes sense to me. We'll put the feathers on opposite sides. Um, eggs go there, so seeds are going to go there. So we'll put the feathers there. Um, I remember something about balancing, so I think, I think we're right. And I think it said I need 100 PE to do this, and I currently have 175. So, do I need to put something in the middle? That, I don't remember. Um, rituals. Normal. Go all the way to the end. No. Ritual allows you to summon a pair without... So, do I just shift right click? Oh! Yep. That's doing something. That sounds so dark and evil. I don't even want to get close to it. Something bad might happen. I'm sure like lightning's going to strike or something. Don't burn my forest down. Oh, there's a parrot right there. <gasps> How cool is that? And I tame you with seeds? Is that what it said? Oh my gosh. I have a pet parrot. I have a pet parrot. Hey, you, come here. No, come here. Okay, you're like my pet, but you're running away. Get over here, man. Come on. Let's go. Come with me. Do I have to, like, right-click on you to get you to do stuff? Hey. 
Oh, and it's got a sit feature. Awesome. Oh my goodness. I got a pet parrot. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to have so many pets by the end of this. Um, I know one of you guys said that we can tame the wolves. Uh, try some raw meat. So we're going to try that out. How did you get out of there? This is my moonwalking horse that I was telling you about. He just moonwalks out of this and then tries to go up the stairs. You just, whatever. I got so many horses. It's okay. And they're all over the island. We're going to go put the parrot in the house because, well, that's the safest place to leave him so I don't lose him. All right. And you stay right there. Good parrot. We're going to have to give you a name eventually. That is so cool. That is a pet parrot. Who would have thunk? All right. Well, it's almost evening time, right? Where's the sun? Yeah, it's going down. So we're going to head over to the Abyssal Wasteland um, and try to go get some shadow gems. <clears throat> Done it before. Don't really think we need to do it on camera. But I do need to make some new armor. My armor has taken a beating um, I popped my shoes. I just popped these recently. I need to get some bronze going. Um, let's go ahead and take you. That is going to give me seven. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Right? Four, five, six, seven. Yep. It's three to one. So we'll get this smelting up. Of course, I don't have any coal on me, but I do have coal in these. So, let's do that and get this melted up real quick. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I think we should be okay, um, at least with a little bit of armor. I'm, I'm better off than I was the very first time I ever went over there. So, I think we should be okay. But let me dump a little bit of my inventory because I don't want to go over there with a full inventory. And let's put our building blocks away. And you know what? Let's, I'm going to call these mob drops just for the moment. I don't want to carry those on me and have something bad happen and lose them. I mean, not that I'm going to lose them. I know I've got my, um, what do you call it? It's, um, the, the gravestone things or whatever, but better to be safe than sorry. All right. So night is upon us. Let's go get some shadow gems and hope that not too many mobs mess with me as you guys know anybody's watching me knows i'm a horrible pvp -er, and as much as i don't like to die i am really good at dying like there's just no other way to put it i am really good at dying but um i think i only have like seven of the small ones so we're gonna need a whole bunch that shadow gem was 81 small ones, 9 medium ones, or 1 from that big old monster that blew smoke and blinded me. Did not like him. He he was not a friend. But let's go see if we can find a couple. Maybe I can find one of those big monsters and just get him at the right time. Creeper, you stay over there. I don't want to mess with the vanilla mobs. Ah, here's some smoke over here. Shadow monster. This is the one that gives me the medium size. Oh, there's two of them too. Well, that speeds things up a little bit. Oh, you got me against a tree, didn't you? I need a better weapon. I need a better weapon. See, I thought with the bronze, I would be able to make like a bronze sword. But no, not so much. How did I... Are you kidding me? Did I not watch... Was I literally that oblivious to my life that I just let that kill me like that? Worst PvP or ever, I swear. I, I don't even look at my health bar. Like, oh, goodness. I was all sorts of ready for that battle. <laughs> Not really. But I thought my armor would protect me a little bit better. I really need to get better at looking at my hearts. I, I don't... I hate being that guy that dies all the time, but man, do I die all the time. Like, all the time. All right, let's try to get back over to my stuff. Let's avoid Mr. I think that guy's called Mr. Wilson. Let's avoid Mr. Wilson and the creeper. And hopefully the shadow monster that killed me is gone. Hey, Mr. Wilson. I see you too. Let's go get my stuff back. That really upsets me that I die. I, I, I really genuinely get upset when I die. But it happens. I mean, what are you going to do? Right? Oh, I got the kill too. How did I get the kill and die? Hey, 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 hey. 
You need to chill. I don't care about any of you, but ones with smoke on you. So I'm going to run around and do this for a bit. Um, once I am able to get enough gems to make that shadow gem, we'll make the pedestal. And then we'll start charging up our Necronomicon and getting going on the other stuff that it wants us to do. Which I think is creating the portal to get to like the abyssal world. So I'm going to run around. We will be back once I get all killing and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, travelers. So this is the guy. I wanted to come back right now. This is the guy that I want to be able to kill. See, he's the big one. And I think I can just get the shadow gem from him if I can keep him from smoking me out. Okay, let me kill this guy first. These guys are a little bit easier. And I don't have any of the mobs around me right now. I would love, like, journey maps so I could actually see the mobs on the map and see what's behind me. <laughs> All right. So I took a little damage. Not much. Okay. So this is the big guy. This is the big guy over here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Here, there he is. If I can get this killed, I'll just get the shadow gem. I believe. I believe that's how it works. I believe the big guy gives the shadow gem. But he's going to smoke me out. Yeah, see. Ugh. And it's like it's like full on blindness. Like it ain't it ain't partial blindness. It's full on blindness. Maybe if I can drag him out of the biome and get out of the dark forest where it's so dark, I might have a better chance at it. Cause I can't tell how many hearts he has. Come on, bud. Come on. We're gonna we're gonna drag you out. We're gonna drag you out of the biome. You're not gonna keep hitting me with that stuff. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because that stuff doesn't really do any damage, per se. I mean, it does do damage. Like, it, it, I'm taking hit, but it's not taking hearts away. I want to get this guy. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. Okay, you're right there. Shadow Beast. Oh, he's got 100 health. This is probably really stupid to me. Oh my gosh, and he hits like a tank. He just took half my hearts. Oh, there's a recharge on that smoke, at least. Okay. So I can put up a little bit of a fight once I can see. But I can't let him hit me because he hits like a tank. Oh, he missed me. 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 Get in there. Oh, please get the shadow gem. Please get the shadow gem. Please get the shadow gem. We're almost there. Did he die? No. Almost. Please get the shadow gem. Please. Did I get it? Did he get it? Oh, got it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, not nearly as bad. Oh, let me take a real quick breath. All right, so let's get back. I think I crossed all the way over the biome. I think our house is like way on the other side. Let's... I think it's this way. I'm not 100% sure. But then we, get that, we got the Shadow Gem. That was so much easier and actually faster than I thought it was going to be. I only died twice. <laughs> You guys watched me die once, and then I died shortly thereafter. I got trapped. I <clears throat> I swear, I try to do good. I really do, but sometimes I'm just bad. There's there's no other way to put it. Sometimes I'm just bad. Actually, a lot of times I'm just bad. Um, yeah, I think we went all the way through this biome. Um, I was looking all over the place for this guy, but... Oh, wait, wait. This might be our housing area over here, I think. I think this is the little mountain, like little hill that's in between here. Oh no, it's straight. That's where it is. This is where we live. Usually the house will pop up and I can see it, but I think we're going in the right direction. I think right here. Yeah, there's my house. There's the, the box of my shop. Oh, okay. So that was much easier. Um, and I do have three of the shards now. So that's cool. If we ever need more, we can get them, but at least we got the one shadow gem. That monster's not that bad. And once I get 
I don't know, a slightly better armor? How's my armor doing? Not bad. I mean, for only having two pieces on, not horrible. So, at least we got the gem and we can make the pedestal so we can charge up the, the Necronomicon. And I'm going to probably set this thing up just a little bit away from the house. I don't remember 100%, but I do recall something about the pedestal, like, spawning in mobs or... I think it was mobs that it spawned in. I have a bad rem like memory of the the pedestal um, charging the Necronomicon, like striking lightning down and stuff like that. I don't want to obviously do it around the house. Are these done or no? Are, are they supposed to be golden apples? No, they're not done yet. Okay. Um, but at least we've got what we need. I need to go grab the model of stone. I have the pearl on me, right? Where's the pearl? Oh, I did I put it in... Oh, I put it in the chest up here. I think that's where I put it. To store my stuff that I don't want to lose. Where's my pearl? Where's my pearl? Where did I put it? In here? No. In here? No. Where is that pearl at? Am I going crazy? Is it not on? It's not on me. Parrot, don't make too many noises, or you'll get fired. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the horse. Okay, I'm going so crazy right now. Where's that little pearl at? I mean, I can make another one up pretty easily. And we know where to go to make it. Am I just going crazy and just not seeing it? Pearl's definitely not in there. Definitely not in there. Definitely not in there. Okay, well... Let's make up another one, apparently. I don't, I'm don't. i really confused as to what happened to it. But, I mean, it's not hard to make. But that's upsetting, right? I guess you guys have to understand that. That, uh... I didn't put it anywhere. Alright, so... Make up you guys. You like that. And I guess we'll go smelt this guy up. But like, at least I know either I got really, really lucky, which is quite possible, or um, can I just put you in there? And let's take out these. What is that? Yeah, the big beetroot. Some vegetables. Cool. Oh, why are you in here now? Oh, there's a whole bunch down there. Okay. Let's grab all this. Jeez. Let's grab all this stone out of here. And uh, we'll go put that in our storage spot. And yeah, we'll put that with our building block. Whoa, I, I always try to go up like that little way area that serves no purpose right now. I always try to go out it right there. Um, okay, we're running out of room, but we definitely don't need this much dirt. So let me put that stone away. And we'll go toss and clean inventory a little bit here. I don't want flowers. Don't really care about the mystery meat. And everything else we're soon we're doing okay. Oh, you know what? Don't need my death markers. Because I can't stop dying. It really I I can't tell you as my you guys would probably think like, oh, this dude just freaking doesn't care. No, I really do. Um, okay, you don't cook in there. Do you cook in here? I don't wanna make up some tiny gold. I was like, I don't want to use all that coal for one. There we go. So there's one. So we'll have the pearl and then energy pedestal and just the model of the stone. Yeah. I don't know where I put that pearl at. I couldn't have dropped it. Could I? Could my inventory been full when I died? And so then it just didn't get back. I don't know. I really don't know. But let's go make the pedestal. Um, model the stone. We got. So we need seven of you. And then you, and you, and thank you. And then let's do some dark stone. I got some dark stone, right? No, that's darkland planks. We'll just put it on monolith. Okay. And we're going to go put it over on the sand island over here. I'm thinking, or maybe over here. Maybe this one that I can actually not have to like boat across to it. But just, you know, close enough to get some stuff done. Like, we can put it right over here. 
but far enough away that if anything bad happens, these mobs won't be uh, aggroed by me. That's kind of what I'm going with. And so you go right there. And it says you have to be on the same level. So one, two, three. Has to be three away. One, two, three. And three. And three. Oh, that might be four. Nope, that was three. Perfect. And three. One, two. Hmm. This is a cheap way to do it. There we go. Three. Three. And three. Right? That looks about right. Oh, I should probably go grab the... <laughs> the stinking statues. And uh, that way we can put them up. And then it'll charge up my Necronomicon. And then we can kind of look at the next thing. Because the next thing, I believe, is going to be the overworld portal. Or the underworld? Underworld? Beneath? Is that what it, The beneath. Maybe that's what it's called. Um, let's grab all you guys. Do you not stack? There are two of these the same. One. Why don't you guys stack? Maybe that's the one I set down when I tested it out. I don't know. But I'm feeling... I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good uh, about getting some progression. And this pack, like I said, I, I'm not trying to like rush through. I really want to have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to put the opposite on the opposite side. I, I want to have a lot of fun with it and just enjoy it. Like really, truly enjoy it. And if I put my Necronomicon right here, will you guys start charging it? And our bad thing is going to happen if I stay close by. When I had it in my hand, it started blasting me with like little blue beams. Are you charging? Do I need to... Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, okay. In my hand is doing it. Why aren't you doing it here? Does it need to be one lower or one higher? Does the pedestal have to be the same height as... The... Well, let's see that. Let's try that real quick. Does the pedestal have to be one block higher? Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh, I got another one right there. Like that? And put you up there? And where's this guy? Like that? Nope, that doesn't seem to be working either. Hold on, am I missing something here? Is it like, do these, okay, so it charges when I'm holding it, which is really funny. I feel like that's unsafe for the most part. Um, oh. So let's go all the way back. Um, forbidden knowledge, abyssal craft. So I need to, the PE. No, that's not it. Um, the overworld, progression. Um, in order to reach the Abyssal Wasteland, you need the key. Okay, so we got all that. Um, there's something about PE somewhere in materials. Yeah, I got that one. Got that. Um, don't have any of this stuff yet. Special armors and tools. Ooh. Of course, I can't use them yet because they're locked, but... Um, materials? There's something about PE somewhere. Right? Spellbook, rituals, what is this book? Obtain non miscellaneous information. Enchantments? No. I'm gonna... I'm spending so much time just like trying to get through this book. It's not the most organized. And I'm not the best at trying to... I'm getting knowledge. This is killing me. Um, what is this book? But how do I charge it? I know I read it somewhere. I think I read it while we were on camera. The Overworld, right? Or Abyssalcraft? Uh, gateway keys. The overworld has been expanded with six new biomes, five new stone, a part of magic. Nothing there. Nothing. Great ones. That's I, I looked at that. That's just the pictures. Abyssonomicon. That's that. Patreon. Um, entities. Yeah, I looked at. I, I, I fought a couple of those. Um, progression. I, I swear I've looked at all this stuff. 
it's got i know i read it somewhere because it said it had to be on the same level and oh you know what where i read that i think it was here is where i read that to charge your necronomicon you can either stand in range of the statues holding the book or craft a pedestal to place the book on make sure the statues are three blocks from the pedestal and at the same height so that would be the way they are right now right those are all three blocks away right one, two, three. Uh, maybe it needs to be one closer. Maybe that's too far. Hmm. That could be it. That could be it. Let's try that out. Where did the model of stone go? Oh, you're right here. So three blocks away. We one, two, three blocks away. Is that going to work? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I think that was the issue. Okay. Yeah, this model of stone takes a minute to mine, but we'll get this mined up get that charged up and look at what's next to do in the way of i think it's the the beneath portal i think that's what we're trying to do next wow that was super scary i want to like take that book off <laughs> until uh i get these all set up because i don't want that uh, striking down on lightning again i knew it did weird stuff that much i did remember i don't remember the mod very well but i remembered bad things happened around this uh this silly 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 thing right here so hopefully we'll get this thing filled up pretty quickly now that it's all beautified and stuff like that and properly placed but yeah i'm thinking it's funny that nowhere in the book does it really clarify the whole so that's three so it's one two three you're supposed to be right there okay i kind of just don't want to even have to break this block it's like almost mining obsidian right now. Like, it's just the funniest feeling to have to mine a block because the pickaxe is just so slow. Okay, cool. And let's put the statues up. Please don't hurt me. Let me take you off this pedestal. I don't want you hitting me anymore. Hey. Why am I... Am I withered? I got withered. See? Just nonsense sometimes. Yeah, much safer. Ooh! Okay, so I'm not even charging it. And... Oh, you know what? It's because it's in my inventory, huh? Oh, no, because they still are doing the pedestal. Okay. Oh! Oh, no way! No, 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 no! No, so unfair. So unfair. It spawned a freaking Shargath. I remember bad things happening, but... Really? Come on, man. And now you've got slime all over my island. <sighs> you know what? Where's my boat? We're taking we're taking the quick route over here. Get around. Just get the rest of these things set up. It's like every time I set one down, bad things happen. <sighs> what the world? Oh, piranhas. How do they just magically spawn? This pack is literally trying to kill me. So cheaty. So cheaty. Like, literally, how did you guys catch a ride on the boat when I wasn't even on it? Like, cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. Give me my boat back. Thank you. Where's the shock at that? Okay, you do your thing. Hopefully, you'll despawn, and I won't have to worry about you. Tr ah, mobs. Okay, let's go sleep this off. Let them burn in the daytime. Uh, I know, I know, you guys. I'm not getting anything done at the moment. Because look at their skeletons everywhere. I mean, fortunately, you guys don't have bows. I'm cool with that. Oh my god, come on. Can you die already? You, can, you don't even have a weapon. Come on, man. All right. Deep cleansing breath. Going back over and trying to finish setting this stinking thing up okay we've got two more statues to place hopefully not too much death involved in it <coughs> i mean seriously the shoggoth though the shoggoth so first i get withered All right uh, okay whatever now there's a wolf where'd the wolf come from it's a dire wolf i want one of those as a pet i really really want one of you guys as a pet but you're in between me and my future here so you stay there okay 
I'm frozen. There we go. My field of view is way dampened. Oh, <laughs> poor guy got lit on fire. I kind of feel bad about that. Uh, let's see. One more statue. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Okay, that one wasn't bad. All right, let's put you up here. Let's get you charged up. I'm out of here. I don't like that whatsoever. Next time, put the... Ooh, I got pulled in. Oh, hey. Come on, man. I so want to be friends with the dire wolves. Um, I'm going to get away. Next time, remember, pick up the pedestal, put them down, and then maybe only one lightning hit. But do your thing. Okay? You charge. Hopefully, that like, the lightning doesn't knock the book off or something. That could be something that would totally happen. On the bright side, all that damage is making me get my nutrition up after those two deaths. So, hey, apples. Cool. Still not done? Do I have to break you? Okay, I have to break you. Those don't grow very fast. <laughs> but they're not too bad. Am I not picking up the apples now? Come on. All right. And then you put apples on a stick and I'll be able to get eight more of these. So this will just be a good fruit source for the time being. I didn't realize I had sticks on me. There you go. And we'll go put some more of these on the tree. I just want to have a better source than the, the berries. The berries give me like one. The apples, I think, give me like three. So it's just a little more food. And there we go. All right, cool. So looking at the accomplishments, uh, we've got the parrot. We've got that. Um, so basically, the beneath is it. Let's... Uh, <sighs> beneath. The portal to the beneath. The beneath teleporter. Okay. So, we've got some stuff we need to get. Um, a blank teleporter is going to be another Corellian Pearl. Okay. Block of coal. Block of coal. We can do that easy. An apprentice blood orb. See, I haven't even have made my first one yet. Uh, so, an apprentice blood orb is going to... We're going to have to get up to tier two. So, that's going to be something we're going to have to do in the next episode. Just get blood magic going. But, we don't have redstone yet. So... We're going to need acrylium pearl to make that. And then it looks like acrylium pearl to make that. So we're going to need two for this with copper, bronze, and tin. Easy. Black dye. That's easy. And blocks of coal. That's super simple. <coughs> and then we're going to need monolith stone, monolith stone, monolith stone. Four of those. Coal dust. I think that's probably just mining a piece of coal. Uh, millstone in a piece of coal. That's, that's doable. Um, gunpowder, I've mean, got tons of that and then some more demonic will so I'm going to have to go and make a couple more of those snares I think I might have a couple left but we're going to need another demonic will apparently so that, So I think that's what we'll kind of start heading towards in the next episode is doing a little bit of the blood magic uh, apparently we have to get up to a tier 2 altar and then possibly I, I don't want to say going to the underneath I think that would just be beneath um, but I don't know to accomplish that task if we have to go or just make it. <laughs> um, use the Abyssal Graph Ritual to create the Beneath Teleporter. Remember to have PE in your Necronomicon before starting a ritual. Place the Beneath Teleporter and enter the dimension. <laughs> I don't want to enter the dimension. What's the... Is that going to be something in the Beneath? Travel to the Beneath Dimension and search the top of the caves for Aquamarine or travel to the bottom of the Beneath to get Black Quartz. Okay. So it looks like next episode we might be heading to the beneath. I don't really want to, but we we need to progress. I need to get better tools. This this stone pickaxe has lasted me a very long time, but it needs to stop lasting me a long time. So I guess we'll just kind of wrap it up there. Um, I got I hope you guys are having fun. Um, going and finding the Corellium and stuff like that. That's something new and different that I've never done before. Or, you know, the, the biome and stuff like that. Getting a Shadow John by actually killing a Shadow Beast was cool. And now we've got our, you know, little rituals and stuff set up. So we're actually getting PE collected. And I kind of want to go see how much we're getting. But I don't want to get close to this thing. Like, straight up, just don't want to get close to it. Um, but eventually, obviously, I'll have to grab it. And uh, see how much we get. So let's, let's see. Boop. We have gotten 3,000. Okay, so that fills up really quick. That's not bad at all. That fills up really quick. So we'll let that happen. 
we'll have a lot stored and we will start looking into uh, next episode. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.